Hello students, in this class we learn how to set reference image in 3ds Max. It's my reference image and the file size is 800 pixel by 800 pixel. So it's a square image. First we create a plane with the 1 is to 1 image aspect ratio. I create this object in the front viewport. So first I maximize this and create a plane. Go to modify and set the size 100 by 100 okay and then press f3 for shaded mode right click on the up and down spinners in the x axis and y axis okay and place this image on this black color line click and drag the z axis spinner and place on the black color line now we place our reference image on this plane so first open material editor and the tool is available on the toolbar and the shortcut is m you can press m when you first time open this material editor by default mode set on the slate material editor you can change to compact material editor click on this box in the base color if you are using any older version of 3ds max so diffuse color option is available there click on this box and search bitmap select this and click on the ok button now you can access your reference image directory select that image open reference image assigned to this sphere by double clicking you can expand and maximize by clicking on this corner like this to assign this material First select this plane and click on this button assign material to selection in case image is not displaying on the viewport go to parent and click on this button show shaded material in viewport if this is disabled bitmap image will not show on the viewport so active this button now we lock this image so by mistake it should not move like this so we can lock this image by two method first method is freeze method select this object and then right click and choose object properties if these options are gray out like this so click on the by layer button and uncheck show frozen in gray and then okay. right click again and choose freeze selection this plane is freeze now so you are not able to select this and now it's not able to move by mistake now if you want to unfreeze this right click and choose unfreeze all and the second method is select this object go to hierarchy lock info so these are locks for different different axes and the different different tools i lock the movement okay now by using move tool i am not able to move but if you are using other tools like rotation tool you can rotate or you can scale also we can also lock the rotation and scaling but i think we did not require these tools so these are two methods for locking any object 